Takov, it jumped over his stick, and that allows the crunch, at least for now, to have possession. They'll get it out. Look out here. It's a two-on-one. Bordier in, looking past the first side. They score. It's the league-leading fifth shorthanded goal of the season for Syracuse. A two-on-one in over the Bridgeport line. Fortier led the rush, and from just below the right hash marks, he sent it to the far side, and it's Max Groshev, who's now got nine points in his last seven games. He had another point the next day against this crunch team, and since then, he's only had one point the rest of the way. As here comes J.P. in right side, pass in front, they score! Second shorthanded goal, although this one comes right as the penalty was expiring. The rush was there, it was three on two, and Syracuse has a two-nothing lead. For the second time in this period, it is Max Groshev. Still have 9.5 seconds to go here in the first. Dumont with a face-off win to Thompson, slapper, and that was Chafee who had it blocked, it came in front, the rebound is put home. Well, they continue to be effective on special teams, assertive, and they've been able to capitalize where the Islanders have not been able to, and it's a power play goal from Gabriel Dumont, who was there at the crease. He touches home a rebound. Michael Chafee's slap shot after the faceoff got blocked down. Shkarik was ready to contest that shot. Once it got blocked and redirected to the near side, he had no chance for Dumont, who tapped it in. Shots on goal, multi-point games. There's just been no secondary scoring for Bridgeport to start the year through 11 games. Carlisle shot never made it through, and then Carroll pulls the trigger. He let one go, and it flies into the back of the net. A rebound goal and a quick release from above the right hash marks for Joe Carroll. It's 4-0 Syracuse. So the Islanders... Deficit becomes four in the final five minutes of the second. Helgeson, home run pass looking for Bartrow. This won't go for icing as Bartrow leads it on the backhand. They score! First of the season for Jeff Kubiak. That all started with a long stretch pass from Helgeson that Bartrow could not stop. But he, he was in behind the defense and he got the rebound off the end wall, spun it in front on the backhand. And Jeff Kubiak taps it in to break up Halverson shutout. Islanders on the board with 4.41 to go in the second. Fritz returns it to Salo. Straight ahead, he'll bump it this way for Hunt. Back to Salo. He'll look to his right. Fritz steps down low. It's caught at the goal line by Asselin. Maggio calling for it in the slot. Got it. Fan on a chop. They rebound and score. Asselin from below the circle has made it a 4 to 2 game, and it's a power play goal. So the Islanders are within two. This goal comes two and a half minutes into the third period. The Islanders have some life as Maggio flubbed a shot between the circles, but the rebound came to Aslan, and he's tied for the team lead now with four goals on the year. Travis Mitchell knifes it up the far wall. And now here's Matt Maggio in with his head up. Looks for Hutton, Rick wide feedback, door save, rebound, they score! <laughs> Brian Penno. Hold on, it's a one goal game with four and a half to play in the third. Brian Pino's second against the crunch this season. Had his first goal since his tally in Syracuse a month ago. Maggio in over the line, Hutton threw it back door from a knee. A shot was put on goal, then Halverson stopped. Rebound came to Pino, and Brian Pino has made this a four to three hockey game. And still battling for it up the right wing wall, Pino and Durando, stolen free through center. Kepke chips it ahead of Groshev. He's got a hat trick. Into an empty net, Max Groshev has scored three of the five Syracuse goals today. It is a hat trick for him at a 5-3 Syracuse lead. They're back to with a two goal lead in the final minute and 46 seconds. Rick Kowalski isn't throwing in the towel quite yet. Why would he? 80 seconds to go. Islanders need two. They're down 5-3. Here's McLean. Falls to a knee. Gets back up left side. Feeds Salo at the point. Across. Jalowski shoots and scores! Cole Bartrow was in front. He may have touched that. It's a 5-4 game. 
Highlanders aren't going away. Third goal of this third period. Dennis Chalowski with the shot. Cole Bartrow touched it in. And it's 5-4 with 70 seconds to go. All right, so Schkar came to the bench. And that basically canceled out the Cole Kepke, or rather the Maxime Groshev empty netter that was his hat trick.